हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सर्वाइकल इनसफिशिएंसी व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द रीजंस फॉर मिड टर्म प्रेगनेंसी लॉस इट इज आल्सो नोन एज सर्वाइकल इनकॉम्पिटेंस इट्स ट्रीटमेंट इन्वॉल्व्स अ सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर नोन एज सर्वाइकल सर्कलाज और मैकडोनल्ड्स स्टिच लेट अस फर्स्ट नो व्हाट इज सर्विक्स as you can see in the picture highlighted in green color that cervix is the lower part of the uterus which opens in the vagina during the entire duration of 9 months of normal pregnancy it stays closed and when labor pains start it opens up dilates and let the baby be born you can say that it is like a closed door when the fetus in uterus is increasing in size and weight it is very important that this door stays closed else baby will be born prematurely also to be noted in the picture highlighted in pink color is amniotic sac which is made up of amniotic membranes it is in this sac that the fetus remains secured inside uterus In this picture we can see the difference in the cervix which is of normal length versus a cervix which is short and clinically is known as cervical insufficiency it is characterized by painless cervical dilatation between 13 to 28 weeks of pregnancy which is the second trimester of pregnancy this picture shows how opening of weakened cervix occurs this results in bulging out and ballooning of membranes into vagina the upper part of this picture shows how this process will ultimately lead into loss of pregnancy the lower part of the picture shows its treatment for prevention let us now discuss diagnosis the first method is ultrasonography or usg in this we can measure the cervical length along with funneling of cervix which gives us an indication of time of treatment second method is clinical internal vaginal examination by the gynecologist this picture shows the lithotomy position that is given to the patient after administering anesthesia so that the procedure can be carried out This picture shows the process of doing cervical circlage also known as McDonald suture. This is a transvaginal procedure. With the help of instrument filled speculum, cervix is exposed. Cervix is held with non-traumatic instrument sponge holder. Non-traumatic needle round body is used along with non-absorbent thick suture. and pulse string sutures are placed as high as possible on cervix these sutures will now provide strength to the cervix to stay closed even though the weight of the fetus will keep on increasing with advancing pregnancy this suture is removed at a selected date when the pregnancy has attained a mature state and the newborn will be healthy After the procedure is done this is how the cervix will look with baby safe and secure inside the uterus There are certain risk factors which may be associated with cervical insufficiency They include previous surgeries like DNC conization cauterization amputation etc As a precaution before treatment an ultrasound should be done to check for fetal well being if patient is complaining of uterine contractions and pain and it is associated with either bleeding or leaking of fluid from vagina this surgery is contraindicated this surgery is recommended around 12 to 14 weeks of pregnancy or a couple of weeks prior to the week in which the loss happened in the past every procedure has its inherent complications for this one it may be uterine contractions bleeding rupture of membranes and infection 
a few expert laparoscopic surgeons are also doing this operation laparoscopically to summarize cervical incompetence is one of the causes of recurrent pregnancy loss timely treatment may reduce this loss it is very important that gynecologist and patient have a detailed conversation then only treatment protocol should be decided for more information log on to our website www.mygynecworld.com thank you